grade 10 children. Welcome once again to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 13 of your grade 10 textbook. We are going to study grammar. This lesson is the last in a series of three lessons in which we discussed conditional sentences. Today let's learn how to use type 3 of the conditional sentences correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, we have already learnt about conditional sentences in our last two lessons. I hope you have watched them and if you have not done so, subscribe to our channel and watch them first. In those lessons, we learn type 1 and 2 of the conditional sentences. Today we are going to learn the third type of conditional sentences. Have a look at this example. It is a type 3 conditional sentence. If I had worked harder, I would have passed the exam. This conveys the idea that the speaker had not worked hard and he had not passed the exam. You can see that it is a past situation that can't be changed now. However, the speaker expresses what could have happened if he had changed his behavior. The condition laid here is explained by the clause if I had worked harder. So if this condition had been fulfilled, the speaker would have passed the exam. So I would have passed the exam is the result clause. It shows the would have been result of fulfilling this condition which never happened. So children, the type 3 conditional sentences refer to an impossible condition in the past and its probable result in the past. These sentences are truly hypothetical and unreal because it is now too late for the condition or its result to exist. There is always some implication of regret with type 3 conditional sentences. In type 3 conditional sentences, the time is the past and the situation is hypothetical. Children, now let's see how a type 3 conditional sentence is written. As you can see, the verb of the conditional clause, had worked, is in past perfect tense. The verb in the result clause, would have passed, is written with would plus have plus past participle form of the verb. Here are some more examples for the type 3 conditional sentences. Let's read them. If you had helped me, I would have finished the work earlier. If he had come, we would have given the parcel. If I had known you were coming, I would have prepared lunch. Children, in type 3 conditional sentences, you can also use models in the main clause instead of would to express the degree of certainty or a recommendation about the outcome. Look at these examples. In the first example, if I had worked harder, I might have passed the exam instead of would have passed, might have passed is used. There is a little bit of uncertainty when you use might have passed. Second one is, if you had caught the bus, you could have been on time. Here instead of would have been, could have been is used to show that this you missed an opportunity that was possible. Okay children, I hope now you can understand the type 3 conditional sentences. Now let's do an activity to practice what you have learnt. In this activity there are 5 sentences with blanks. You have to fill the blanks with the correct form of the verb given within the brackets. Pause the video and do it. 
Okay, let's check whether you could do it correctly. Look at the first sentence. If I blank know you were in hospital, I blank visit you. So you have blanks in both the conditional clause and the result clause. So what is the answer? If I had known you were in hospital, I would have visited you. Second one is I blank bring a present if I blank know it was your birthday. So I would have brought you a present if I had known it was your birthday. Third one is Sita blank give the book if you blank ask. Sita would have given the book if you had asked. Fourth one is if you blank come earlier, I blank introduce you to the others. So if you had come earlier, I could have introduced you to the others. So here instead of I would have introduced, we can even write I could have introduced given the possibility. Okay, last one is if you blank give me your email, I blank write to you. So what is the answer? If you had given me your email, I would have written to you. I hope you could get all correct. Okay children, let's do one more activity. Here you have to underline the correct answer from the three options given. Pause the video and do the activity now. Okay, let's check your answers. In all these sentences, there are two blanks, one in the conditional clause and the other one in the result clause. And out of the three answers, you will have to select the correct one. As you remember, in the conditional clause, you have to use past perfect tense as the correct form of the verb. And in the result clause, you will have to use would plus have plus past participle form of the verb. Okay, I will read the sentences one by one with the answers. If they had taken him to hospital earlier, he would have survived. Next one, I would have sent the document if you had given the email address. I would have travelled by train if I had booked the seat. If you had come to the party, you would have met Angela. If he had woken up earlier, he wouldn't have missed the bus. I hope you could get all the answers correct. Children, that marks the end of our lesson. In this lesson, we practiced grammar. We learned how to use type 3 of the conditional sentences correctly. As I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, this is the last lesson of a series of three. In these three lessons, we learned the three types of conditional sentences which are also called if clauses. We also did several activities to practice how they are used. So please subscribe to our channel to watch all these useful lessons. Goodbye.